What's up, Toaster here, and uh, before I begin this long commentary, I'll just say this is a um, gameplay on standoff, hardpoint, league play, and it's me, Tex, Tunis, playing with a random guy, we didn't know him, so, uh, we are against four people, and we are, we are four people, and uh, the first minute our guy leaves the game, we ended up three against four the whole game, and we uh, we ended up winning the whole thing. Uh, that's why this gameplay is so fun to watch. We're three people against four the whole time. We make huge places. And yeah. Hope you're in the gameplay. And let's begin with the commentary. What's up, what's up? Toaster here and um, I'm going to do a little like over the years, my gaming career, what happened, what I've done, what I've been through, and all that crazy stuff. So yeah, let's begin where it started. I um, got my Modern Warfare 2 when I was yeah 12. <laughs> I was like getting 13, and that's when I started playing Call of Duty. Um, I started tryharding with my friend. We had spawn trap, the demolition all the time. Went around with the spas, UMP, yes, wrecked kids. And yeah, the time went on, and I started to quick scope a little. Got me and my friend got really into it, thought it was really fun, and that. Then started to get more interesting in base energy and all that. That was the two clans that was start to watch. It was really fun to watch the cams, the new cams. We were all excited when it for a new cam, and uh, I yeah we wanted to join the clans and all that. So we and uh, I joined. Uh, Clan called ETKO. It was my first clan. It was some random Swedish dude. I got one of them on Skype. Like now, the leader. You know where I will. It's like a part of. Without him, I wouldn't be here. Maybe I would, but every, everything happens for a reason. So yeah. And my friend thought the clan was really gay because the name was really gay. ETKO, and he didn't join it. You know. Stay there for a while, we went for crazy no scopes and all that. And then me and my friend we met a guy with um, with a HTP VAR and we also asked him if we could uh, make a clan with him and he said yeah of course and we made got some members we know the ERL and all that so we um, started with the cams one I can link you the channel. We only have one video, and that's the cams. <laughs> it was my first video I ever was on YouTube. It was my first Call of Duty video ever, and I had two two cams in there. Yeah, I will link you so you can see it. And yeah, um, the leader left, and we were left behind with no PVR. So yeah, we left too, and we kept on. Playing Modern Warfare 2. And then, um, like one month before Modern Warfare 3 came out, a clan called Tuk came up in our lobby. And they were Swedish, and we were like, oh, can we try out? And they were like, yeah, sure. They had 20 subs, they actually had PVR, made one cams, and uh, we were, oh yeah, this is a great clan because we were all hooked up on clans and trick shotting. We joined them, and then on Modern Warfare 3, we started to try hard and do some, some random nose scopes. We made a Lake 3 theme tasha. It got, it got actually really success, successful to be from a small clan like we were. We had like 100 subs on Modern Warfare 3. And um, then they saw Echoes, aka Ritz. We wrecked them in a drop zone lobby. So we decided to pick him up, and um, without him, I would never start feed. I thought it was really cool the thing he did, like getting feeds, and I was like, well, yeah, I want to do it too. I was really, really crappy at feeding. I got like split quad feed, split by every kill, and I was like, oh my god, a quad feed, and I used it in my episode one. I got some, I actually got like two nice feeds there, but the rest is sucks, and the half of it is it's like, yeah. Trick shots. So yeah, I'll put that in the, the in the description if you want to see that. And then I met a guy called 
Tex. His name is Ludde. And he started to feed with me. He was a feeder too. And I picked him up and he got really, really glad. And he made an episode with... And he thought I was really good and I was like, nah, I'm not good, kid. I'm not good. I'm just kidding a little bit. He's a good friend. We played all the time. Me and Echoes and him. And Echoes went over to Xbox. And everybody got sad. And he played Xbox all the time. And me and Ludde played. And then I found a friend called uh, Philip Bass. Player name is Faz. And yep. I met him back in Modern Warfare 2. And I like lost my contact with him. And now, Modern Warfare 3, I found him in a lobby and I was like, Oh my god, oh my god, that's him, that's him. And he tied him and we played all day long. Talked about the good old times. Me, Tex, and Faz played. And then, Faz and Tex got really good friends. And now, like we three we always play all the time and another guy called Kunz which I am going to talk about soon so yeah we we gamed all the time we played feed feeded made episodes and yeah it went on and on and then I joined um, ultimate sacrifice with um, echoes and uh, we made a team torch like the sickest team torch I've ever seen I put it in the description too and then ultimate sacrifice ended at 700 subs so i moved on to trilogy and that was when black ops 2 came out like we ended i joined the trilogy got like sick single to triple there everybody got oh my god yeah i didn't put up any videos on trilogy but And then like after two weeks I joined Trilogy, Trilogy got hacked and I was like, oh, I can't be, I guess, I don't want to wait to, the, to them to get the channel back. So I joined another team called Encore, like old friend from Ultimate Sacrifice, made a clan and I decided to join them and he got really happy. They made like, they had like sick projects going on, they had managers from FaZe and all that, but I was just planning to stay for a while because I was looking for a really better clan. So, by the way, I was I was in in Encore and uh, Ultimate Sacrifice, Philip and um, Sinf and Kunz were in Oxygen as like the three feed leaders. And, um, I decided to join them. I was really happy. I wanted to join, and there's where I met Kunz, Adam, and um, he's one of my best Call of Duty friends, friend like a good friend and. Uh, we played all the time, we three, like Ludde, me, Philip, Adam and Demon, we played really much Black Ops 2. And then uh, Oxygen went on and on, we were like the best team, we were all hyped because we got so many subs and many views and so many attention. And uh, then we got hacked, someone hacked Oxygen and... Uh, I, everybody lived, you're in other clan, play solo, I was still playing with Fast and all them, like all the time still, there's, that is where I saw Astral, and I heard so much about him, it was really good, and I was like, yeah, why not give it a shot, I um, asked like one, one guy called Yard, he's not, not in Astral, but he was like, he lived like one week after I joined, I showed him my clips and he was like, oh, you were good and uh, you can join if you want. And I was really happy to play with him. I made like like three episodes in uh, Astral. And uh, by then, my my channel had like 500 subs. And when I joined uh, Astral, everything started growing. I got like co-op leader. My channel just exploded. I got so many subs and likes and all that on my episodes, I was really happy. And then uh, a guy called PNG joined when we had like 30k and um, I was still a cop leader, he was made the, he was being the overall feed leader, I don't know why, like the 40, 
we could use another good with he little with a lot of a lot of experience. So he was there and I recruited a player. I recruited a player which wasn't that good. Like I didn't watch the clip so much. I just watched some clip and he got mad at me paying because I recruited him. I said sorry. It was a little mistake. I've done so much astral defeat team I got editor editors, players that are still there now. And yeah, I was moved down to player and I as I didn't feed it that much back then I, a player position wasn't good at me at all. I got really mad at him, tried to talk to him, but he just ignored me, so yeah, I decided to leave and back join the back o oxygen. Where Tex is the leader of the Fee team, so they were really happy I joined. We were all there again, all the four amigos, and the reason uh, Tex was still uh, was still there as a leader was because he didn't leave when uh, we got like exposed. He just stayed there and be loyal. So he was like the uh, like old member and um, leader called Uteve made him lead leader. And now now he's actually a co-op leader of the whole Oxygen. So he has been there for so long, been so loyal. And yeah, he has done a great job. And so now we ha we have a really really good feed team. Everybody is so good. We are planning to make our first team touch in a while, and it's going to be super. The standards are really insane. Like Black Ops Two, more of for free, multi cod. We got so good clips. It's going to be mind blowing. So I don't have any clips in the. Team Touch 1, but I will have in 2 and 3, and uh, I hope you look forward to see them. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this little commentary, uh, it's my first attempt to make this one, and by the way, I have a new headset, Astray for this, I thought I would try out the mic. I will do more commentaries, like next week or something, it will not be commentaries like this, it will be uh, live commentaries instead, so I will borrow my friend Elgato, because it's easier to make live commentaries with them. So I expect more, like, episodes. I will do episodes and league play, I think maybe. I will ask you guys what you want to see and I will do it. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this commentary and like, comment if you did, and subscribe and help me to 1k. I'll have a special coming up, 1k too. Yeah. Bye bye guys. Peace out.